Okay, I'm going to get ready to install the oil pan on the 37 here. So, I've been measuring. The key dimensions are from here to the bottom of the trough. And uh, there's a gauge that Chevy used to sell. And, but, I don't have it. But I did measure that with a straight edge here. And they're all within five or 10 thou. These dimensions I measured the uh, from underneath on the engine there. In the center of the sprayer is four and a quarter and then there's the uh, main uh, bearing here so it's four and a quarter four and a quarter and four and a quarter so again very unlikely that they're all bent exactly the same amount it doesn't make any sense all that's left to do is quickly test the sprayer make sure that nothing is plugged here although i'm pretty confident of that so i've rigged up this we're going to go in the house and make a mess of my kitchen i'd like to pretend that it's this that's going to make the mess but <clears throat> anyway, then I'm going to straighten it. There's a bit of a bend here. And then I'm going to put all the gasket on this side and uh, let that set up overnight. It's all cork and it's a little sketchy in here. It's uh, four different pieces and it all. So without, you know, making a glue bomb out of it, we're going to try to do a nice job of installing the gasket. And it'll be lightly sealed to the pan and I'm not going to seal it to the block in case I have to take it apart for any reason. All right, that's uh, looking really good. I'm not going to fret about it. They're all nice and straight and looking really fine. And <laughs> the old kitchen's never going to be the same, but that's okay. Well, it's the next day and I've uh, kind of left this overnight to set up. Let's see how it's going here. These screws are only installed here just to keep the holes lined up. Make this a little easier to put together. Uh, I'll pull all this uh, and all these clamps off and we'll have a look in a second here. I notched the end pieces to fit the flat pieces in around there. It all looks like it should work really well and I've just sealed it to the pan on the ends and at the joins and I put a little dab nothing here I put one little dab by each hole just to help it from uh, sliding around while I'm trying to get it in we're gonna put that screen and strainer on first because what do they say know thyself and thyself will forget to do it until the pans all screw down and then I'll be like, oh, I forgot the pickup and the screen. So let's put that together now. There she is. The only other major alignment issue is getting this uh, tube in there uh, lined up as it goes on. There's not much extra room anywhere on this assembly. So that was why I pulled this cross member off of the frame. And uh, that's that's made a huge difference, at least being able to test fit it. I'm hoping that it makes it at least possible to get this in for the final time here. I'm going to go get some 5 16 uh, ready rod and cut it into two inch pieces. And then we're going to thread that in and we'll use that to get this started because it's going to be uh, tricky. And then I'm going to get a razor and I'm going to trim just that, just going to break that edge a bit. It's not going to affect the overall effectiveness of it, but if this is a sixteenth of an inch this way or that way, I'll never get it in there. And if I break this or peel it, or then it's going to set us back another day. So I'm just going to do that, and we'll be right back. Okay, got her trimmed, flush with the outside edge of the pan, and then just whoop, now on the edge, I have it beveled about a sixteenth of an inch on a bit of a taper just so if I'm off by a little bit she'll go in here you can see the same thing on the inside so leaving most of the gasket intact just beveling it there and again I mean I see I look underneath there where it's got to go and, and there's nothing to locate it here so I, uh, I'm a lot happier trying it that way anyhow I'm not saying that's going to work but I uh, was pretty sure yet the other way wasn't going to work at all. Here, same thing, just a very slight 
bevel there and sealant on the corners and same here cut totally flush with the front of the pan and just ever so slightly beveled and there you go I, I don't know it's about the best that I can think of how to do it so now I'm gonna just uh, slather the shit out of it with caulking and hammer it in there I'm just kidding actually I can't because if you guys watch Nick's garage you know that he would be giving me he would be giving me the old finger wag if I did that so and he's right because this should seal perfectly well and if I find myself in a situation say I put it together run it for a bit and uh, you know it, it needs to come apart for whatever reason shims or whatever I'll be able to pull this pan off without having to do all this again quick review everything looks really good holes lined up so everything's nice and flush at the corners so I'm gonna just chuck it in there I got a couple of studs underneath and I'm going to take a couple more with me to just hang it from. Some nuts. This is where you got to say, did I put everything in? Yes. Are all the cotter keys in? Yes. We turned the engine over? Yes. The little pickup thing is in. Yeah, well, I mean, at this point, I'm, I'm chucking her together. Like, we got to get this thing done. If this pan goes in, this is a bigger job to me than the head, uh, than the head because... The head's, uh, you got gravity on your side, so <laughs> let's throw it in there and see what happens. What? Oh my god. Okay. One, two. Oh, come on now. see anything there it looks like we're on our way here put some uh, ready rod in the block and slowly pull that on that uh, that wasn't uh, that wasn't easy but I had to put extra long bolts in the front so those will get swapped out but I think I'm on far enough now to start all the rest of them but it's not so tight that I can't wiggle it back and forth and there's no sealant on it so Oh, I tell you, if I get this pan on with that gasket and it uh, and it doesn't leak, I'll be as as stoked about that repair as, as anything I've done recently. Because this is <coughs> this is a job. Oh, I'm just so excited to be putting this back on. You guys have no idea. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna turn the engine over before we do anything. Because if it goes. <coughs> then I'm going to be pretty mad. I don't even know what's going on. All right. <laughs> the light is dying. Is this happening then? I mean, if these go in, that, you know, it's going to make our lives a little leap. Well, there's one. Look at these. Can you imagine trying to get this in just with these? They're, they barely thread into the block. Man, it's two in a row. I was really anticipating the worst here. Okay, yeah, I brought four at a time. Keep our keep our goals realistic. Figuring I'd have to come up for air after four, but we're going for four. That wasn't even terrible. Hey, it's a kind of a cold day, so thought maybe the right thing to do would be fire up the new port here and uh, maybe head over to my neighbor Dick's house and have a look at some of his cars because we've been over there a couple times but I never filmed any of it. Uh, Dick is actually uh, Laura's neighbor and uh, anyway uh, Dick's been collecting uh, Y-block powered Fords for many years and uh, he's got some pretty spectacular and rare cars that uh, well Today's a great opportunity to go check them out. The old port will stay running. Listen to that, eh? That's choke cam for everybody.
Got a good carbon footprint going there. Solid. Got my menace dog in the car here. Get some heat in this thing. Hey, Menace. You having fun today? Go for a ride with Dad? That'll be fun, eh? I'm just gonna let this baby warm up for a minute. I've gotta go uh, set up a few things for my niece to sand this afternoon. Uh, she's been doing a great job and she's helping me prep up a few pieces on the SM now. All right, well, let's go, Boonog. Ready? That's it. These things just do not get stuck. It's got such a big butt sticking out. Lots of weight. <laughs> well, another chapter closing in the local history here. The uh, garage where uh, Stephen has been working and uh, my friend Don has owned, well, ever since I moved here, has closed. There's one more gone, and the old building getting bulldozed, and, you know, more of this monstrosity going in, I think. Suburban sprawl is even coming for us out here, I'm afraid. Look at this piece of shit. What the hell is that? It's gonna be just a nightmare. Anyway, business as usual, I guess. There it is. The old local garage. Quickly becoming a thing of the past. Oh, you guys, I just got a notice from Jim that he's bought another winter beater. I don't even know. This one is its pretty epic. So, you guys are going to get a laugh. Maybe we'll see if we can get over to Jim's the next day or two here. Got to grind his gears about this one a little bit. We'll file it under Jim has learned no lessons at all, I guess. And I got a little message from Jim showing him plowing the racetrack into his yard, so that's coming along. Um, man, we got, it'll be a pretty good winter beater racing day anyway. Newport's ready to go, I'll tell you that. You enjoying the rides? Yeah, it's a nice day to be a little walk, hey? Stay nice and warm? That's a good girl. Is that, that in there? I'll just mosey down here. All right, let's see what uh, Mr. Deagle has in store for us at the garage today. Yeah, Kitties, these barn cats. Hello. Well, I got a pair of them. They're a brother and sister. They're both red and white. Like a dummy. I'm laying on the gobble down. Yeah. The <laughs> but, uh... Oh, I don't know. Wow. This is This is pretty special. Arch. That's a terrific job on that wheel arch. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's cool. Who did that? That was fine. Oh, it came from Pennsylvania when I bought it a couple of years ago. Oh, that looks cool, yeah. This is the one I got. I put this letter on it. Okay, yeah. Because that's what I'm going to run for a motor. I've got a 331 cubic inch almost together in okay. the garage. Okay, yeah. And uh, wow. I just got to put the heads and oil pan on it and it's ready to run. Jeez, this is, this is way too nice for a race car day. <laughs> well, you know what? I was, I <laughs> Most had... guys' race cars are pretty chunky. This is clean, man. Holy, just, what a spectacular car. I love the wheels. Perfect, eh? Yeah, it runs real hard. Yeah? Yeah. And, These uh, wheels here from the 1960s, those yeah, are yeah. a Fenton wheel. Okay, sure. And so they happen to have... Um, oh, they make a very good uh, reproduction. Is that what that is? Yeah. It's a U.S. wheel. But that isn't wide enough for my new tires, mm -hmm. so I got a new set of the same oh, as okay. the front. Yeah. These are brand new Hoosiers. Yeah, yeah. I ran them two race weekends. Oh, I can show Holy you here a, a little So what's in here now? 296 cubic inches. So this is a, a thir 30 over 292? Yep. Oh, I like the second set of gauges under the hood. 
That's it's really handy. Yeah, to tune. for tuning. Yeah, yeah, that's really that cool. I've year. never seen that. Man, you even got the original wheel still. Yeah, with the horn ring and it works. Wow. And the because you got the factory gauges in there and aftermarket ones under the hood. Yeah. What a car. Are these? No, they're not. They're like. These 61 are or 63 63 galaxy yeah okay that's sneaky i just i was looking at that i'm like is that a victoria thing no those are like galaxy yeah that's cool oh i love 57. there's what i gotta get fixed you bring that over when you're ready and i'll sort it out for you anytime you got time okay well i got a, i got laura's car first she'll kill me if i put anything oh, you're else doing in. on it oh it's coming it's all it's fitted now. The fitting is the big thing. Like getting all the panels to line up. I imagine Colin will phone me when he wants to get the motor. Oh, together. right. Yeah, he said that you guys had looked at them both and there was one good one. So yeah. that's great news. So just for anybody who's watching, this is a 1957 Fairlane 500. Uh, is this a wide block? Uh, is this a 312 car? 312. 320 inch now. 320 now. And, uh, and you bought it more or less like this, Dick? Pardon me? You bought it more or less like this? Oh, you have a convertible too, don't you? What a spectacular... A you bought a retractable? Yeah. Oh, man. You got the whole... It's like kids when you got to collect the whole set, eh? It, ne <laughs> it's, it needs to be... Is it a project? ...put together. But Is it? it's, it's all there. Oh, it's done, just not assembled. The bodywork and everything was done, but... Really? And somebody the guy just kind of... out of interest. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, I can't this wait to see that. I love retractables. I've always wanted one. Just so everybody can see it. This, uh, sorry, 55 or 6, Dick? 55. 55 overdrive. And is this a ranch wagon? It's a ranch wagon, yeah. Two-door ranch wagon. Fantastic, eh? Okay. Yeah, it's just a collection. I'm going to try and sneak around to the front. Is this one a driver or what? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is really it's, nice shape inside, too. Yeah, <laughs> I was filming a video in my yard last year, and your uh, I think your '56 Victoria went by, the one oh. you have on the street, and it was just in the background of whatever shot I was doing. There must have been 50 comments. Oh, did you see the '56 Victoria go by? <laughs> I'd love to see see that. Yeah, too. no, that was funny. I'll try and remember which one it was, but you just drive by in the background, like way out on the road, and I'm up by the barn, and everybody saw that go by. Was it on the trailer? Or did no, you were driving it. Okay. It was driving. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you doing to the T here? So, sorry, well, you told uh, me it's a 23. It's a 23 Roadster. 23 and Roadster. It to have the Started, repaired, so. Oh right, yeah. Uh -huh. Look at this guy. This is just a delight. You bought this a few years ago, right? Yeah. You don't use it much, Roy? Three or four years ago, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we don't. Uh, well, when you have so damn many cars. Sure, it's <laughs> hard. Yeah, for sure. A Mustang convertible as well. Yeah, this thing's ready to go, eh? It is. I wouldn't be as scared to drive this to Calgary. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's fantastic. It's so cute with the little folding top, eh? Yeah, and it folds back so nice. Yeah, and these these are here, the brackets that hold the irons, right? That yeah. That sits on there. Yeah. It all folds back. And it belonged to two old men by Medicine Hat. Really? And that's the only car they had. And they drove it into town when they went. And that's what they had for a vehicle. No kidding. So this one has, uh, what, still running the original coils? Yeah. Great. And uh, the earlier ones, the coils are inside. And oh, and it's got an accessory water pump. That's a nice option. It is. Yeah, mine doesn't have that. When we were driving it in the field last year, we had no problem with it heating or anything. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But the starter Bendix it was wore out or it broken. It came apart. Okay. So I Luckily, to a few geez. people and. Yeah. Found uh, the pieces I needed and. Oh, that's great. So she'll be back on the road, eh? Be back on yeah. the road and as soon the... as I get a warm day that I can crawl under and yeah. lock the cats out of the shed. So <laughs> Get some, I know. Uh, trying to work with cats around is challenging. Yeah, sure. You have a heated garage as well. This is just the storage, kind of? This is just storage. Yeah, yeah, it's really neat. 
The wheels have been rebuilt at some time in their life. Yeah. Yeah, it's got the, what do they call those, 31s, the tires? I yeah. think so, yeah. yeah. Three by 350. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you still got all the hubcaps for it. These often go missing, eh? Have you had it on the road? Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah it's, it's insured for the road. Okay. Yeah. What, uh, what kind of speed do you get it up to? I'm thinking 30. 35? 30, 35. Yeah. Okay. But I feel more comfortable at 30 than 45. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, mine won't go anywhere near that. I had mine to 62 kilometers an hour. That's the fastest. It was probably going by your house here on my way to oh. dance, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> well, you know Dan and Paul from the dealership. Yeah. Paul's got a Model A that I helped him with. It's just lovely. Those uh, accessory shocks that are on this. Yeah. It's the only Model T I've ever seen that had them front and back. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, here, this is what I wanted to show people because a lot of people have never seen Canadian Fords. It's kind of a nice treat for the Canadian models that they're actually nicer looking than the American ones. They sure are. That's really cool, eh? Look at that. And they had funny French names. Yes, they uh, did. Is this a Rideau? Montcalm. Yeah. Montcalm, yeah. Named for French explorers and generals. Here we go. Rideau. And look at the, they had fantastic paint jobs with all this extra trim that you didn't get on the American models. This was the top of the line, is it not? It was. Yeah, yeah the Rideau. Yeah. And so it's, it's even got. Really you see it other than the wheels out of a barn. Like really? Oldfield. Really? Wow. And the upholster is absolutely uh, just pristine, eh? Okay. Oh wow! This thing's amazing. Town sedan. Is that the model, eh? Hey? Town sedan. Yep. No, oh, I didn't know it. New dual exhaust and it's yeah. a 272. 272. Yeah, and there's the way them things work. Oh, no kidding. I've never seen that. Isn't that just spectacular? Nice. Dick uh, has had to go uh, deal with the water delivery guy. So anyway, I just thought that it would be a really fun opportunity to come and have a look at uh, probably one of Canada's foremost Y-Block experts collections. Uh, yeah, Dick doesn't really screw around. He loves this kind of thing. It's rover time and we have special guest Agent 3500 here today. Keith's here and he's working on we're making him work on his own car. What a, <laughs> what a jerk. Hey, that's going fast. So the idea is taking off the old bodywork here, and then we're going to give her a few taps. It looks like somebody could have done a little better there. <laughs> anyway, it's still better than what we got on the other car. So uh, we'll uh, get that cleaned up. And so Keith's just stripping all the old clips and emblems and bodywork off of it, and then if uh, he doesn't mind, we'll get him to clean this up here. Absolutely. And then I'm going to pop a few dings out of here. A little bit better. They kind of missed it there. The rest of it's not terrible here a bit. And then we'll uh, start redoing the bodywork on that guy. And I'll be working on Laura's car doing essentially a very similar job in the next room here. <laughs> <laughs> There's always other people with the yeah. sickness. Yeah. Yeah, they have the same sickness as you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny, after a while, the same people start showing up in the same club. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah they recognize each other. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Is that working? Nice. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm just going to pop them in yeah. the box. Yeah, you bet. Them. Something like. This to get underneath him, maybe. Oops. Oh, oh good. Oh, that works good. Oh, all right. That way he's not bending. Yeah, yeah. great. But uh, make sure I keep my glasses on. Yeah, for oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, good. that's going along quite well. Yeah. Shit's flying right in my face. So, thanks for the glasses. Yeah. Ooh, that, one's that one's easy. Yeah. 
and another one. Okay, and oh. there. Well, <laughs> where did we find these? Huh? I don't even know what those are or where they're from. But, Tom, uh, here? Yeah. All right. And then, if we're really lucky, Keith will show us his Coldsmobile winter beater. Dean will have to give it the Coldsmobile seal of approval, so. Apparently I've been accepted by Dean. <laughs> So what do you think? Glad you stayed in school? This is getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. Well, tell you what, I'll finish uh, knocking that out and next time you come over, we'll uh, do the body work again. And uh, right, we got some progress today. It doesn't look like much, but I'm actually pretty happy this was all kind of smashed in and it was all wrinkled up on the top and we actually got 90% of that back. So. Yeah, that was kind of an achievement of the day. The other big achievement was he actually got that thing out of there. Thank you for the help, boss. That was a pretty fun way to spend the afternoon. Oh, well, absolutely. For me, anyway. Now you can stop answering your phone when you see my name. <laughs> uh, well, the idea is that we get this baby back on Keith's car before he has to drive it again. Because he was saying he, doesn't, he has to drive it uh, in a certain lane so people can't see the dent. <laughs> Oh, and the menace is very upset. Oh my God. What? Yeah, you do that all day. What's with your tail? It's moving. <laughs> Just enough. So, uh, hey, I hear you have a surprise winter beater for us. Yes. Oh, and it's got full Dean approval, I hear? Dean loves it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> with a recommendation like that, I think we should go have a look. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, I think that we're in for a treat. Does it have heat? It's got good heat. Oh, well, you're ahead of Dean there. And I, I don't have the uh, optional screaming. Uh, oh, it doesn't have screen. screeching bearing? No, I didn't get that. That was extra. Well, it's a nice kind of wintry day, but not too bad. What model is this exactly, Keith? Uh, this is the... Uh, Cutlass? Oldsmobile Cutlass. Sierra SL. Cutlass Sierra SL. Man. Check out those mags. Those are beautiful. Oh yeah. Factory Oldsmobile mags. <laughs> what color of velour does it have? Velour. Oh hey, this is a Saskatoon car. Oh there you go. There's your that's cop proofing right there. Oh, it's from Saskatoon. Sweet, maybe Kyle fix this one in the day. Man. And a little disappointed with the lack of rust. It's not too bad. Oh, there's a good bit there. Oh, yeah, it's got some. <laughs> it's got enough to qualify, I'd say. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah. The tape is uh, permanently stuck to the seat, <laughs> but it's a great cup holder. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, the roll of tape cup holder. I tried to move the tape and it stuck, so I left it. Oh yeah, it's on there. Yeah. Power windows, geez, you're really moving up. Oh, not only power oh, windows. Oh, and it's got the stupid seat belts in the yeah, door. So. I don't know how that works. <laughs> not a big seat belt guy? No, I hate him. <laughs> God, it doesn't have that buzzer. No? No. Oh, somebody disabled that already. Yeah, so I can drive free. Not too dented up. Yeah, and tires good and runs good. Is this 2.8 liter? Uh, 3.3. 3.3. I don't know what one that is. Well, here, let's take a look. Oh, are we gonna look under the hood? <laughs> oh, right. I was hoping for a look at the Things we don't care about part of the car. The famous. Oh. Holy What's shit, that? why is it so heavy? I don't know. Oh, because it doesn't have any springs. There we go. Well, yep. <laughs> <laughs>
It's a 3.3. Yeah, it's Trans got plug wires. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about these. No, I don't either. Yeah, seems to run okay though, eh? Yep, yeah. <laughs> yeah whatever. <laughs> Starts. Yeah, the engine light stays on for a while, but... I see you spend a lot of time detailing it up, so that's good. Yeah, I, I actually never looked at the engine until... Until uh, just now? Until just... Until <laughs> <laughs> just... I mean, open the hood, and it's like, no. <laughs> so you got a good deal on it? Uh, I bought it off a neighbor, so it was like uh, easy peasy. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's the guy. Yeah, that's kind of how Dean shops, except for the trust part. <laughs> well, that's a pretty Grandma Saskatoon car, man. Absolutely, and it changes. You could the carry way you if you had to smuggle guns and shit. This is your car because nobody's pulling this over. You know, and you drive different in this car. Oh like, yeah. Compared to the Rover. Yeah. Like, I wanna, I wanna race around corners. This one here, you just kind of. You just want to go to bingo? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to get harder and harder to find. Like, well, I mean, I mean, just cars that you can buy for cheap and drive. Yeah. Like, I it, wouldn't have gone looking for this car. Oh, God, no. You're looking at Kijiji. Yeah, you're just like, oh. I've been looking for years. Finally, finally, with the optional package with the rims and the power locks. This reminds me of uh, the, the Jag. Uh, yeah, sure, a little bit, yeah. XJ, XJ, uh, XJ12, XJ6. Gotta get some of the detail shots. Very classy. It's only on the one side, though. Oh, disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you got a good deal. Oh, it's missing. What a jip. Luggage racker. Yes. Beautiful. Maybe if you miss the rover, you can just strap your spare wheel on there. And so got the safety Perfect. cap. Safe, safe because I if I lose the key, it doesn't matter, right? Yep. Perfect. Listen to that. That's yeah. quality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't make plastic like that anymore. The best part is this thing is going to last so long. You're going to be so sick of it. You'll be waiting for it to die long before it is worn out. I, I, yeah, I said to Mel. How many K? Uh, 180, 250? 180? 180? It looks about 180. Yeah, you're good. 136. 136? I'll buy it off you. <laughs> it's sold! <laughs> <laughs> what doesn't work? Yeah, Let's this, get the owner's report. This doesn't. What's that? The you lock? You have to manually do this. Okay, one power lock is out. Yeah. It just happens to be the driver's side door. Yeah. Uh, what else doesn't work? Well, you're still winning about 100 to 1 for Dean. Because he's... It's easier to count the things that do work on his car. That's about it. That's, that's about it. For yeah. 30 years old, one power lock. That's yeah, not I, bad. Can't think of anything else that pisses me off. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, yeah the close. door, that pisses me off. Yeah, it's a bit sloppy. Yeah, it's dropping. Oh, yeah. So you have to swing. <laughs> You'll get over that. I'll fix that. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. <laughs> When, I'll never fix that. Thanks so much for coming over, buddy. Hey. That was a fun afternoon. We got some good work done. Got to check out your contender for beater championship here. Yeah, well, I don't think it's going to dethrone the Granada this year. Supposed to know. Drinking beer. Uh, no, I am. I, I do know. What are we doing? Okay. Uh, well, because you briefed me on this. I, briefly. <laughs> briefly briefed me. We made an error, a, a fatal error yeah. with the springs, right? The tension. Fatal spring error. Fatal spring. <laughs> yeah. Fatal spring error. Yeah. Tight coils to the bottom. Right. Not. Uh, it doesn't. Say, I checked the manual. It doesn't say arrange the coils randomly throughout. Which yeah. Is, which is how we had it with the boat. Half of them right now. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna fix that. Because yeah. you know it's an hour long show and sometimes you gotta do the same job twice. That's okay. So uh mm. we'll start with that one and then we're just gonna fix these up. Okay. And then once okay. that's done, what's stopping us from putting it on? Uh well we were talking about li uh, the, the lifter guides that we saw. Do you wanna show them? Oh yeah. Good let's idea. Show them. Yeah. yeah, let's uh see if anybody knows the answer to this little mystery. Bring it over here when you find the book, Dean. I'll do the book. Okay. Figure right. 46. 
right there. Push rod springs, but there's a yeah, you see this little guide plate and all these little springs and these keepers and stuff? We don't have any of that. So, right. I, I mean, what, what do you want me to say? We don't have I, any I, of that. It's so, weird. So, um, yeah. I don't know, it was either, was it missing when we got the car or was it just never there? I mean, we've had stove bolts apart before, yeah? Yeah. And, and we've never seen any of this. No. So maybe not snow bolts as old, but well, and it even says 1937 engine there. So true. I, I just don't get it. None of those were in the car when we got it. So uh, yeah, low uh, mileage car like too. I would remember if we had all that stuff. Yeah, in the car, right? me too. yeah, you would. Yeah. And so I'd and all the other chevs that we've done did not have any of that. So yeah, if you know the answer to the stove bolt mystery yeah. guide plate with spring retainer bullshit, uh, <laughs> leave us a note. Leave us a note anyway. Yeah, yeah. And if you don't like any of this, leave us a like. <laughs> yeah. If you really hate this, subscribe. Yeah, that's right. Subscribe for more. <laughs> Actually, subscribe for less. Because the more you subscribe, the more YouTube will bury this channel and you'll never have to yeah, look at it. that's right. Let's see. This one is backwards. So we'll start here. And the nice thing is I think this was the last car we used this oh, good. So it should still be set up pretty close. Got one. one. I've got brand, I've got clean hands. Don't worry. Okay, five. Okay. Clear. Yep. Okay. Okay. Flip it over yeah. and we're done. No valve seals in these engines. That's weird, eh? Yeah. So old, old tech. Looks okay. Well, it go? Well, nothing's gonna get hurt, I don't think. Yeah, okay. Uh, it looks like it's it's. Uh, fine. Yeah. Okay. I mean, pretty. All right. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they would have fired off into space if they weren't, right? Yeah. And which one we do? Just this yeah, one. Yeah, we did that one. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the same distance there. Okay. So they're all fine. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Uh, all right. Right. Fixed. 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 Those are all good. The way they should that, be. Yes. Right? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Good job. Next thing we have to check is see these little sleeves here. For these We've sides. taken so much off of the manifold. Okay. We got to make sure that we don't have to shorten these sleeves or omit them. So oh. they are there uh, only to help align the gasket. They don't actually seal because you see that big gap in there. Mm -hmm. So they're not actually as important for sealing as I thought they were, because it seals on the gasket. Oh, it's just to align the so gasket. So these are just to align, so. Okay, gravity line, yeah, okay, gotcha. Remember when you took this off, how heavy it was? Yeah, that's right. I had all the manifolds and stuff? Yeah. But that was a pain in the ass. We can't do that putting it back on, because we can't, it has to be perfect, right? Right, okay. So we can't be touching the gasket sure. or anything, so. No, that's right, okay. So we're gonna put the head on bare like this, and mm -hmm. then we're gonna reassemble, we'll put the rockers on, we'll put everything on after the head is on. Okay. So that's fun. So that means we'll flip it up here and we're going to clean all this one more time. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to clean the block one more time. Mm -hmm. And we'll turn the engine over one more time. Just and if everything seems good, then we'll, uh, yeah, just whatever. Yeah, spray. Uh, yeah. And then we'll Dean power this baby on. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. we've got the Dean power. Good yeah, thing that's today because I'm not lifting this on. Right. Myself. Well, no, that's okay. My back been... won't handle it. Easy enough. All right. Let's yeah. clean this puppy up. Okay. Sure. Okay. You know. So what are we doing? Just uh, cleaning all the threads here quickly. Oh, good. So, just got the cylinders taped off because probably could have done this earlier. But mm -hmm. anyway, you can just kind of. So that's nice. Just gonna run them in quick, run them out, and then we're gonna blow all the holes out. Okay. And yeah, uh, and then we'll worry about unmasking the cylinders. Yeah, well, we got to get good mm -hmm. torque, and if the half the torque is just trying to cut through the thread, yeah, yeah, so, cut through the sludge and yeah, the goo, right. yeah, we want to make sure it all comes out very easily. Yeah, well, that makes sense. They're all in good shape. We didn't have any trouble getting any of these out, as I recall. No, yeah, just no, we're good. We're good. Matter of matter of giving them a little tidy. All right, so that's yeah. We're yeah. we're still moving on, guys. See you in a bit. How's it going? You know, 
feel any weirdness do you? No, just a little no. resistance, but not much. Yeah, they're cruddy. Yeah. Gonna be cruddy. I don't really want to oil it if I don't have to. I know. It's just easier to blow them out if there's no oil in there. And there, it's it's going nicely. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we shouldn't be cutting new. If you feel like you're cutting new no. threads, then we have a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's, yeah. That's no, 100%, good. man. 100%. Okay. And what's our motto? It's a Chevy. It can yeah, take it. exactly. Tough old stove bolt here. I shouldn't be doing this over your fenders, but whatever. No, the fenders are no big deal. Okay. I like cars where you can lean on the fenders. Yeah, I, I know, me too. It's Once they're all shiny, they're Well, like, I don't want that like Plymouth. Fury, yeah, oh, no, no, I don't like working on it. All right. Did you, do, you didn't do this one. Oh, did I not? No. Oh, shit. I thought I was, oh, you're right. I didn't. Okay, well, I'll go back. Oh, yeah, there we go. Some sludge. Some sludge. Some goo. Yeah. Uh, any car that runs is just much easier to deal with and much easier to own. And that was the whole thing with the whole reason I started doing Will It Run mm -hmm. all those years ago. Yeah. Was because it's just so much easier to move the cars around if they <laughs> run. <laughs> sure is. Like if you're going to have all these junky cars, mm -hmm. even if they run, you can just put a battery in and move it out of the way. And if they don't run, you got to tow it. And when I moved here, I didn't have a tractor and I didn't have no. a forklift. I didn't have nothing. So yeah, it was it's easier to get the cars running. No, than it was to move them any other way. So good. Serious stuff here. It's Serious not, yeah. times. If it was my Oldsmobile, I'd be high as hell. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. There's Oldsmobile standards, oh, right, and then there's can't. classic Chev standards. That's right. We yeah. can't do the back. I see what you're saying. You're doing it right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't tap the water jacket. No, That'd yeah. Something I would that do. would not be good. Well, it wouldn't be bad. There's always a learning curve. And the fun thing about this is we get to learn you get to be better mm -hmm. and i got lots of cars to drive in the meantime yeah yeah And yeah, this yeah. is such you know right this has been a lot of fun this car look at all that stuff that we cleaned last oh, year it's man. finally getting to go back on right all those parts we cleaned there's it, nothing but clean parts to go back on mm -hmm. this thing tonight man yeah, like, yeah this yeah. is what we've been waiting all this time for yeah it's so was good. today yeah it's so great. today is it i'm glad that you're here because yeah, yeah. you and i took this apart oh yeah you mentioned that water, oh, water man, pump that's... I got to get the water pump. I out. mentioned. Oh, I forgot. This thing's been sitting here so long. I forgot all about it. But that water it. pump will leak. You have to rebuild the water pump. Well, or get it done, or figure out how to do it, or whatever. Okay. Yeah. 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 So Chevy teardown was a year ago. Hey, it's yeah, hard to give believe. or take. Give or take. Yeah. I know it was in the winter, winter. Winter time. Yeah. And it was just something so we didn't have to nice worry so much there. about the Plymouth all the time. Right. Okay. Big day for the Chevrolet. Big day for the Chevrolet. Yeah. Okay, gasket on. Gasket on. And I will be kind of here. And you just yeah. kind of, the other thing we yeah. could do is we could put some soft things on top of the gasket. Then you got something to land on. You know, but then. But then you have to lift it up. You have to lift out. up again. I mean, I could. If so you can well, hump, just pick it up and see how you feel. If you can hump it in here, just hump it in. You're the guy to do it. Maybe I will. Oh, it's a little bit tricky. Okay. Oh. Okay, sorry. Sorry. I'll guide it. I'll hold okay. it. Wait. Okay, take your time. Okay, my end is easy. Just set it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Like. How are you feeling there? I'm okay. Okay. Come towards me a little more on your side. Oh, oh it moved the basket. All right. Just put it close. We'll have to line it up. Good. So, sorry. And down. There. It's good. I'm just on my fingers for a second here. Can you lift the back up? Okay, that's right. Good. Okay, I just, yeah, yeah, we're a little worry, off, okay. but... That's all right. Nope. We will fine tune it. Let's get the bolts. We will throw Slam some bolts. Slammer in there, eh? Make just sure we got all the bolts. Just, and, yeah, just, just fucking impact. <laughs> and done. <laughs> yeah, we're going for a ride tomorrow. That's right, we got it. Okay, so, okay. well, so, it's pretty obvious where the short ones go. Right? They're all along here. Right? The short ones on this side. Should have one, oh. two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight short ones. Eight shorties, okay. Yeah, let's go over here. Okay. So we're going to take one short one for you, yeah. one long one for me. Okay. You do the front one on yours, and I'll do the back one on my side. Let me just see if mine goes in first. Oh, dear. This is all pretty skaty. I know. You know what? Oh, moved it. Okay, that's okay. Shit. Uh, you know what? I might grab this light. Mine. Okay. okay, mine's in. I just, I just, so you should have to just wiggle back and forth like this. 
Okay, oh. Are you in? I should close it. Started? Yeah. I just, oh, I just worried about the gasket, that's all Scott. Nothing, should, nothing to worry about. Right? Right, okay. Okay, and you run it down by hand all the way. Should be able to. If we clean the threads. I mean, yeah, oh yeah, that's going there. You're okay, right. yeah. grab all of them and let's feed them all in. Okay. There's yours. I was just, wor but I was worried what was the gasket moving, right? Yep. So this is guiding nicely now on mine. Yep, good. Oh, it's so nice when you clean the threads and they can just spin yeah. in by hand. You had actually, uh, were working on it the other night, I guess, eh? And did some work, to I can't remember. This what one? Well, yeah, you think you better put the pistons in. Yeah, we put the bottom end here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, it's great to see it coming together. Yeah. Well, this was a pretty broken engine. It was, it was. <laughs> Not many people would have bothered. Right, and it was like head gasket um, issue, it overheated. Yeah. So there's a telltale sign of the parade car or something going on that we thought maybe. No, it was the heat riser. Oh, the heat riser. Yeah, and it was just overheating over and over again. Oh, okay. Somebody gave up on it. How to hop up more like a car engine now. How to hop up your stove bolt six, Hop eh? up your stove bolt, eh? Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got all mine seated down nice, nice. I mean, I'm... All, there you got them all touching? No, just two or not. Yeah. But, I mean, oh, there we go. That was... Yeah, that's all we need to do. We don't need a ratchet. We're just going to hand tighten them. For now. Oh, maybe a little resistance. But no, it's ready. Fine. Hey. That's fine. This is how you renew your Mr. Goodwrench certificate, Dean. <laughs> yeah, right? Those all went just by hand, eh? Yeah, they're nice. nice. Yeah. I guarantee you. So we, our gasket placement was fine then, yeah. right? Yeah, it was 100. It can, okay. It would either go or it wouldn't, so. Right. Yeah. Well, the thing with this is we had a nice clean head, and we had clean block, and we had a new gasket. Usually when we're doing the yard cars, we're trying to use dirty old cylinder head. Well, yeah. Used gasket. Yeah. Dirty out in the yard. So this was nothing to worry about. Oh, because no. I got this head boiled at the at the shop for Dan and Paulover. Okay. So that the the head's really clean. Oh, good. Oh yeah, the hot tank is yeah, we, This looks awesome, mm -hmm. hey? Wow. Yeah, cool. Cool. I'm happy about that. Yeah, me too. All right, now. Now, now. it's break time. Yeah, we, we can't. Yeah. We can't hurt anything now. No, we can have a break here. Right? Okay. All right, great idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, Dean taking care of the <laughs> yeah. engine mount cross member. So, yeah, once that's done, we'll hammer that back in, because I only took that out so that I could get the, get the uh, oil, oil pan out. Yeah, so yeah, that yeah. Was a bear. It was a bear to do, yeah. I did it alone, because nobody should be subjected to that much profanity. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. Sometimes it's best to do it yourself, <laughs> just to spare other people. That's right. Looks like that used to have black paint at one time. Yeah, and I like to preserve bit. the black paint. Preserve what we can, but don't worry your life over it. Yeah, and what's Menace Dog doing? Hi, thanks for coming out and having fun in the garage with us today. Oh, man. oh sorry, man. I was taping wrong, I think. I was upside taping. down. I was <laughs> You're upside down? Yeah, I was taping upside down. Oh, I don't care. I, Nobody notices that stuff. I had the VCR set to record. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got her. A couple fish. flanges, a couple nuts, a couple of couple of this, a little of that. How to clean the, yeah, that was yeah. good. Oh, I just like to have it all perfect. Hey, it's so nice. Ooh. Oh, your exhaust is a little bit. Oh, oh, it's a bit poopy. Oh, man. Yeah. Should we put a, like, a loud muffler on it? Oh, or yeah. should we put the stock grandpa muffler uh, on? Dean, what do you say? Just stock original. Grandpa. Grandpa time. All right. Just One grandpa. for grandpa. Just grandpa beat it. Like this is coming together a little bit tonight more for us. And I, do you have an inspection cover and all? I guess we have to hook up the starter and all that jazz and clean that up and make sure that all works. that jazz. Chitty and the battery's good. <laughs> I'll get. I'll stand up for a second. Are you almost done, man? Do you need help under there? I need a nine sixteenths wrench. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. Bingo. Well, I think I'm gonna have to let you go here for a second. Huh? 
Yeah, Boy. you're done. Uh, are you just doing a sequence? You're doing uh, a sequence tour now. No, I'm just randomly doing them. That's my method. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just double checking a few of these here. Okay, so what, that's, what, that was just up getting started. Now what, we're going to bring them up to. What, we're aiming for seventy. Well, let's bring them up to fifty then. Okay, fair enough. All right, give her. Let's see. No. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> this one. And this one. <laughs> yeah. Eh. Anyway, <laughs> just joking. Oh, that is why. We want to thank Miles, of course, for loaning me his sweet, actually really nice baseball bat sized <laughs> torque wrench here. This yeah. just makes this easy and fun. Sweet. If you don't take out half the car with it. Did I do these ones? Yeah, it's awesome. I did now. Nice. Well, that's it's coming together. All right, one more pass. I got to rest for a minute. I'll let you rest. On the back. We will come back after these messages from <laughs> Dean's used LTD parts. Look, I'm crazy again. I shaved my head. Hopefully they can see that. Um, You'll see that from space. Yeah. Okay. Right. 70. 70. Oh, it's crazy. Crazy calm. Just right there. Nice. Miles wanted to be here. He was not feeling well today. In there, yeah, I get it. I get it. He probably just wanted to be here to make sure I didn't wreck his nice torque wrench. <laughs> yeah, it's out of calibration all now. <laughs> yeah, right. It's been used on a chef that's already going to hurt his feelings. <laughs> no, this is oh, not that far removed from what he's running in his red pony. I got to right. get this one already. Oh, okay. What kind of um, CID is that he's running in the Pontiac again? It's a uh, oh, 261. Oh, yeah. You got one, I think, don't you? Yeah, it's in the same in the 59 biscuit. I think I did this one. Oh. Oh. Well, is that uh, we got almost two more, and then, then rocker shafts. <laughs> That's right. And that'll look nice. Yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> All right. See you in a bit, I guess. Oh, wow. Coming together every little bit now. Right. Oh, I got that through there. God, that was not how I wanted that to go, but we did it. So it's very yeah, we're good. Nice. I had to, it was sitting over here and I had to say, oh my god. Anyway, I managed to do it. A lot of snakiness there. A lot of snaky, and we got a couple of burrs on here, but it ain't gonna matter. Mm. But boy, that was, uh, yeah. next time I do that, I won't make that mistake. Right. Uh, but yeah. there will never be a next time, because this is the only 37 Chev engine I'm ever gonna build. Uh, right? Um, I don't know. Because if you've got a 38, it doesn't have this. Well, oh yeah, right. This is, what? I think, of like a one-year thing. It what? comes from the pump over there. Anyway, it all works. We tested it when we spun up the engine. Okay. So, I'm just a little sad about the burrs, but I might polish that out, just in the name of trying to make something nice, and then straighten this out. Once I get her straightened out, I don't even mind the little curve there. That looks okay. Mm. Push rods are going to miss it. We'll double check, but it should be fine. Okay. So, next, because I didn't want to go any further in case I broke this, because that's... Yeah. So I got that through. So good. Now we okay. can, we can, uh, we'll put the, we'll clean it up, put the lifters in. So yeah, we got to get some special yeah. lifter oil and then we're going to push rod slam and then rocker slam. That's, I'm happy about that. Yeah. Next time starter goes in and then we still got a lot of little details to do, but that's an engine now anyway. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Clean up and lifters. Is a regular ah, same old shit. 